Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back or welcome to the Complicated Entertainment channel. Um, channel members, hey, y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? First things first. Um, y'all, look, look, everybody's getting pregnant now. I repeat, everybody's getting pregnant. What is in the air? I feel like every like six or like, you know, six months or seven months, it's like a new wave of like pregnancy going on. Okay. Anyway, um, there's rumors that Lotto is actually pregnant. Yes, she's on stage looking like a bloated hot air balloon, okay? And everybody's saying, girl, what is going on? Like, you baking in the oven? Your oven finna burn, baby? Like, what's going on? What's going on? Now, in my opinion, she does look very pregnant. And she also look like she put, looks like she put on a jacket to cover it up, okay? They saying, damn, Lotto, you got pregnant at the height of your career. What's really going on, okay? What's really going on? Her stomach was definitely protruding. And watch when they're gonna say, oh, well, I was just bloated. I was just hungry and I ate my meal and I... Girl, why are you lying, okay? Flo pregnant, Hallie just had a baby, um, Sky pregnant. It's just so many people who we think is pregnant. But anyway, I do think that deep down inside, though, I mean, is she at the height of her career and she's pregnant? Um, I don't think so. I don't think she, I don't think she's at the height. This is, this is not considered a height, okay? A real height is like number one on Billboard. A real height will be Sabrina Carpenter. If Sabrina Carpenter got, got pregnant right now, that's a height of her career being pregnant okay if glorilla got pregnant right now that's considered a hype lotto is not at no height right now okay she still has some more time to go before she consider any you know a hype right now you know like does she have some viral songs and viral tracks out right now yeah of course but she's, she's not at a real she's not at a spike yet you know what i'm saying so once she does okay then we can bash her or whatever but um you know she got a man and apparently she likes the man a lot. I guess she wants to have his babies. Okay, so, you know, I guess that's what she wants to do. But I do feel like she should have waited or something like that. You know, I feel like she should just, you know, all right, let me chill out for a little bit. You know, let me just, you know, see what's going on. I have a career still. I'm still very young. You know, I don't think people understand. Like, when you have babies young, you cannot go as hard. You cannot. And I don't think, I don't think people really understand that concept. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cardi B, um, she's slowed down now. Them kids she had is also a contributing factor to her success, like, slowing down, okay? Uh, it might not have slowed her down initially, but over time, she's burnt out now. Three kids, and you still talking about some new album out. Baby, it's been five years. You see what I'm saying? So, child, if this is true, if this is true, Lato, um, congratulations. But, I mean, I just feel like it gets to some point where it's like, eh, <laughs> eh. Okay, and who is your boyfriend? Okay, I mean, <laughs> 21 Savage, right? Okay, so then once that happens, ooh, it's gonna be like, child, it's gonna be so much tea when that baby come out, if this is true. But she does look very pregnant. I'm not gonna lie to you, she does. All right, child, okay. Um, as you all know, the Billboard's best pop stars of the 21st century, the list, okay, has came out, and there are only two spots left for number one and number two. That is Beyonce and Taylor Swift, okay? So many people are saying Taylor Swift should be number one. Oh, Taylor, Taylor, number one, number one, number one. Taylor, Taylor. Listen, y'all, can you can, can we stop this, like, conversation? Like, I'm, I'm already annoyed. The list ain't even came out yet, and I'm already pissed off. For real, okay? Let's make this very, very clear. It's going to be Beyonce and then Taylor Swift, all right? Now, if we're going to be quite honest here, if we're going to be very real, um, Taylor Swift should have been third place, okay? But Rihanna, they, but for, for some reason, they gave Rihanna number three. That's lame. But I feel like the list should be Beyonce, Rihanna, and then Taylor. Just being very clear here. But knowing Billboard, knowing the industry, knowing these publications, they're going to give Taylor Swift the number one spot because she's white, period, point blank, Okay. And um, these publications will never, ever give, you know, black women their proper, you know, credit or placement. Because if we're going to go based off, like, talent and actual skill when it comes to being a pop star, um, Beyonce is number one. And then Rihanna and then Taylor. And it's not to say that number three is a bad spot. Number three is still very, very high out of all the people on the list. You're still up there. Like, you're top three. But we should have Taylor there. Okay? Not Rihanna. But, you know, these publications, they don't want to upset the fans. You know, they got to pander towards the fans and what the fans want. And, you know, Swifties, you know, it's a very big fan base. It's, it's, I think it's one of the biggest fan bases behind K-pop fans. 
Um, the Swifties are, they're very, they're crazy. Okay. And they would cause a riot if she did not get number one. So they're going to give Taylor Swift the number one just because it's Taylor Swift and she's Taylor and she's Taylor, 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 oh, Taylor, 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 Taylor. You know, they love that stuff. Okay. That's what they're going to do. And they're going to eat it up every time. But even if the list comes out and Taylor Swift is number one, if Taylor gets number one, I'm going to always say that Beyonce has number one. I'm going to always say that. But then again, you know, it's a friendly little conversation. It's not a real beef or any real conversation. It's not, you know, it's, it's not that serious. You know, it's just a ranking. It's just a list. At the end of the day, um, all these women are paid and getting coins and successful. Okay. At the, at the end of the day. Okay. <laughs> then, <laughs> for real. But I mean, congratulations to whoever gets the number one spot. But, you know, give it to Beyonce. Okay. Comment down below. Who do you think needs to have the number one spot? Oh, well, well, well. Moving on to Nicki Minaj, y'all. As you all know, she has her new song, Insecure, came out um, last Friday. Yes, last Friday. And, um, you know, the numbers are out for the predictions of the chart placements. Okay? And people are talking. They're like, oh, my gosh. What is going on here? Like, what is really going on? What is the tea? Um, Nicki Minaj's song, Insecure, um, you know, it's not really placing where the barbs wanted to place or where some fans deserved it to be. Um... The Billboard chart expectation is going to be, okay, top 70. Yes, that is the current predictions based off of right now in its first week, okay? Um, so Nicki Minaj and Juice World's song will be debuting top 70, uh, most likely at number 67, 66 on the chart, okay? People are not having this. They're not happy. They feel like Nicki should have got top 10, top 20, um, they feel like Billboard is, you know, going to be cheating them out of the sales and cheating them out of streams because they've been buying. Now, this is my, this is my, this is my message to the fans. This is my message to anybody who's hating. It was a surprise release. We don't care about the streams, baby. We don't, we 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 don't care about the streams. It was a surprise release. It was like literally announced like three days before it came out. So, literally, okay. And the song is charting is going to be it's going to be charting higher than some people's projects that has been announced weeks prior. You see what I'm saying here? So, you know, it's not a bad thing. Top 70, I mean, is it low? Yeah, it's low. No, Jay, I'm not going to sit up here and be delusional. It's low. <laughs> but it's a reason for that. There's no video, okay? It's not getting that much of a push with radio, okay? To be successful on Billboard, it's kind of like you got to have a lot of radio play. A lot of radio. And that costs money. That costs, you know, other things that aren't necessarily always obtainable. Now, well, obtainable right away, I should say. You know, it's a process of getting radio and a deal. and It's a lot, okay? But regardless of that, I do feel like this song is a tribute song to Juice. It's not about going viral and, oh, we top 10, number one, da-da-da-da. No, I don't, I don't even think this song has, like, you know, the intention of being some big hit. I don't think that's the point of the song, you know? The man is dead. <laughs> like, the man is dead. Um, would it be nice to get the song to number one for Juice for him passing? Yeah, of course. But, you know, the fans having fun with it. The Juice World fans are really, really loving the song. You know, they get to reconnect with their favorite artist who's no longer alive. You know, it's not always about the numbers and sales. The man is gone. He's dead. The fans just want to have a good time and just vibe out to the artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all be so chart obsessed. Now, listen, okay? We can discuss charts once there's videos out, radio play. These management people are pushing you out. You like then we could discuss the charts failing, okay, for certain artists. But if it's just a surprise release, I'm never gonna be harsh. I'm never gonna do too much. I'm never gonna be extra on them. It's cool. You see what I'm saying? It's cool, okay. All right, y'all. Um, Kiki Palmer, um, recently has discussed that Nicki Minaj gave her some great advice recently. Um, she was just saying, hey, girl, like, you know, no matter what you're going through in the media, um, nobody knows what you're really going through behind closed doors. So do whatever you need to do to make sure that you're okay, make sure you're good, and just take that time to yourself and just pour into yourself, okay? Um, Kiki even did a Nicki Minaj voice impersonation of her, okay? Um, impression. Um, and it was cute. It was funny. It was, I, I liked it, okay? Um, but people are giving Nicki Minaj backlash for her response to Kiki online. <sighs> You know, people just always find a way to be negative. And I don't know why people always are like that. You know, people always just want things to be drama. Drama, 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 drama. Okay, so this is what Nicki said. This is Nicki Minaj's reply to the message, okay? So, um, Nicki Minaj says, oh, what a key, key. Nicki says, um, why would she even tell that story, question mark? 
doesn't she know that could mess up the whole bad guy thing? Let's see if she's still laughing when she get hit with that cease and desist, chai. The bad guy, Chun Kiki, okay? Obviously, she's playing around. She's playing, like, I mean, come on now. Like, it gets to a certain point where the media has painted her to be this bad guy, nasty black woman so much that even when she's just joking around, it's comments saying, oh, Kiki was just, you know, showing love. Obviously, she knows that. Like, I think it gets to a point where people need to just, like, shut up. Like, shut up. Go on a treadmill. Your back is getting enlarged with every hate comment that you put out in the world because... You're just disgusting. You're an evil person. Stop. Stop. Okay? Um, and I just, I don't know. I just, I just cannot stand to see people just so negative. Like, it's, it's like, lighten up. Like, have fun. Laugh. Kiki, even if you don't like, even if you hate Nicki Minaj, you should know she was just playing. Like, come on now. It's obvious she was just joking around. But anyway, y'all, let's move on to this next topic, all right? Okay, moving on to the um, halftime show drama between Wayne and, you know, Jay-Z, Kendrick Lamar. Um, Snoop Dogg has spoke up and, you know, during a conversation and these people are still like giving Wayne backlash for this whole entire thing. Like they're just invalidating Wayne's feelings. And it just is very interesting to see a lot of people just like claim that Wayne is overreacting. OK, let's get into it. This big thing that's going on right now that everyone thinks that whenever the Super Bowl takes place, the artist that's there is, a, is supposed no, to. No, what, what we need to think about is that before Jay-Z got control of the Super Bowl, what no so let's go back to the essence of the beginning of Bridge. He's creating a wave of artists to have an opportunity to perform. Uh-huh. If you're a good artist and you're a great artist, your time will come. Uh-huh. Like, I was never crying about it or mad about it. When Dr. Frank called me and asked me to get his back, I was there for him. Uh-huh. But I didn't feel like I was supposed to be there. I was, you know, in demand to be there. This is a big event. Mm-hmm. People looking at everything when they pick so that the person to perform. You should just be honored that, you know, hip hop is being able to be seen on that platform for all of us and not hate. This was definitely Wayne Shade. I feel like the hip hop industry is like low key turning their back on Wayne and they're upset with Wayne, but low key no shade. But it seemed like Wayne already was given that spot. Okay. It seemed like Wayne was already in talks to get that spot and it got swept under, like, like just snatched from him. Like it just got swept from his hands. It wasn't like he was just hoping and praying. It, was, it wasn't like that at all. That's people are misunderstanding. Wayne has hinted at him having opportunity for a minute he's been saying that okay um and i don't know th- this was definitely shady towards wayne i get it y'all like to just clown wayne this nine and third and he should just be grateful he should be thankful but at the same time y'all not understanding that one man has too much power over an opportunity for artists like it's just it's just no it's just and if wayne felt the way let him feel the way period if wayne felt like he was hurt and he got dissed and he got snubbed let wayne feel like that why is it always oh wayne wayne, wayne? let him feel like he was hurt let, let like people like People love to downplay other people's emotions. Like, come on now. It's okay. It's okay. Like, Wayne was definitely snubbed the whole time. And, okay, he wasn't, you know, everybody who performs in the halftime show isn't performing in the city that they're in. I get that. Cool, 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 cool. Great, great, great. But, obviously, Wayne was in the conversation to be doing the halftime show, and it got snatched from out of his hands. Period. Okay. Okay, yeah, moving on to Coyle Ray. Coyle Ray is currently being clowned online due to her low streaming numbers, due to her low views, okay? She just really, she released some new Mew Mew, okay? Some new tunes, all right? And, you know, it's giving, like, she has fallen off. Like, it's giving, like, Cola Ray, what happened to your, your, your fans? Like, the fans just left? Like, what happened? She only has a couple thousands of views for her new songs out right now. Um, she only had a few hundred of views when the song first dropped because nobody cares, basically. And I went and I played the song. I, I, I played it. You know, sometimes, you know, the views could be low, but the music quality could be there. Sometimes the numbers are really low, but sometimes, like, you know, just because numbers are low doesn't always mean it's bad, necessarily. But after listening to the music, it's not bad, but it just sounds, like, generic, and it just doesn't have a unique, like, sound. It just... I don't know how to explain it, but she needs to work on her sound and her, like, her branding of her, like, her music. It's just, it isn't really quite hitting for me. And, like, she doesn't have a real fan base for real. So, no wonder she has no views. Nobody's a fan of her like that. I never went outside and said, oh, my gosh, who is your favorite artist? And they say, Cola Ray. Nobody says that shit. You know, and it's not to be mean. It's just being honest. Like, she doesn't, she hasn't built up her core fan. So, like, you dropping music, you dropping these random ass singles on a random, what, Wednesday night? Like, Tuesday night, what are you doing? 
Like, what are you doing, girl? And also, I just feel like the songs that like it's just no, Koi, give it a rest, okay? Um, she needs to take some more time off and and cultivate a new sound that people actually want to hear and actually care about, you know? Because right now, I don't think anybody really cares about what she's putting out right now. No shade. I'm just being quite frankly, like quite honest with y'all. But I don't know. Comment down below. Maybe you all love Koi Ray. If you are a fan of her, comment down below. Why are you obsessed with her? Why is she your favorite artist? I mean, it can't be that many of you all. Maybe it's one or two of y'all, but, you know, I don't know. Like, her views really are, like, you know what I'm saying? Low. But, you know, like I said, it just, it's just, it's, it's some things that are wrong with the Coleray brand. Once she fixes it and finds out how she can, you know, tweak it and get better, I'm pretty sure she'll be fine. You know, but it's to the point now where viral songs don't equal viral career. It's at the point now where it's like viral moments don't equal artistry. It just equals viral moment. Like, it's just, it's just a viral moment. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, it is what it is, but let's move on to this next topic. Comment down below, what is your all's opinion, okay? Yes, 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 let's move on. Speaking of other flops, okay, people are saying that um, Lanaz is also a flop because his recent music is not doing well, okay? And he was forced to drop another single the next week, okay? He is forced to drop another song, like, immediately after <laughs> his most recent song flopped, okay? And the new song he's dropping, okay, it is called Need That Boy, okay? Now, I'm going to be very honest, honest with you. I'm getting tired of the whole, like, gay antics. Like, the whole, like, you know, using the whole gay thing as, like, marketing, okay? Being gay is not a marketing tactic. It's a it's a sexuality. And when you can only use your sexuality to sell a song or sell, a, like, any type of art, it becomes tacky and corny, okay? This whole kissing boys thing that you're doing in your videos, I get it. You, you know, you're a gay man. That's what you do. You know, straight people straight people do it all the time. But when it seems like you're only using it as like a rage, like bait thing where you're trying to get people upset, you're trying to make like, it becomes corny and tacky, okay? It's like, all right, I get it. I understand, you know? But I think he needs to find some other tactics to get people talking about his music, okay? He, you, you can't keep using this as like a, a, a marketing tool anymore. It's, it's not, it's not interesting anymore. Just be an artist. Like, you're making it just corny. Like, you're making it corny. You're making it look tacky. Just be a person that makes good art and great music. Why do you have to always be somewhere twerking on poles with the demons, kissing some man to get people upset, um, dancing in naked showers with men in your music videos? I, I, I just don't like the way that it's, like, you're representing the entire, like, LGBT community. Because th then that's when people think that that's what being gay is all about. People who aren't gay think that, okay, they must all care about just being naked, kissing each other, and, and wanting to be drum humping. Like, no, it's what being gay is not just that. And when you make that the, the forefront of, of being gay in pop culture and music, and, and, and it, just, it just looks very like, yo, you're doing too much. You're, you look dumb. And no wonder why all your songs are flopping because people get tired of the tactics after a while. Like, you gotta find a new marketing tactic, baby. This ain't it no more. It's 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 over with, and it's just it's annoying. Okay, I, I just I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't like this, and I'm not saying I hate him kissing people on his videos. That's not a problem. But when this becomes the forefront of everything, no, child, this case is really it, it won't leave. Like, can the case go away? It's like every single week we have a new article about the whole entire Tory and Megan situation. We're over it. We don't care no more. Okay. Can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop putting out new announcements for this situation? I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Okay. Um, they're now saying that new court documents referencing Tory Lane's um, shooting, Meg, revealed that despite previous false narratives, the police department is in possession of the um, weapon and the 90% of the DNA on it was known to come from a man. Okay. That is in some new documents. Okay. Um... Now, in my opinion, he's already locked up. He's already in jail. Okay. What do you what okay? And what and what now? Like, I don't understand. Like, what else do y'all want? Like, the man is locked up. Like, hello? Like, y'all keep bringing up new tea. Like, it's some new tea. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I think people just like to bring this up because it's like, I don't know why. It's so old now. It's like four or five years old. The tea is so stale. Like, the tea is stale. Uh, it's not even tea no more. It's piss. Maybe the tea got mold in it and some more shit, okay? 
but I don't know. I guess that these documents are just to prove to people um, who are still in doubt that Tori is guilty. And I guess it's just, you know, further more proof to say, ha ha, I told you so. How about I don't care? Okay, yeah. Moving on to Sabrina Carpenter. Uh, social media users are discussing how um, what she's doing is disgusting at her shows. Um, as you all know, she's been getting backlash because she is at her shows doing, you know, freaky positions. And they're saying, oh, well, you have a kid audience. Why are you on stage bending over, arching your back, legs up in the air? You got your legs spread open wide, busting open, busting, bu- bu- busting. Um, and now you on stage acting like you sucking bananas. You on stage acting like you about to be Gawk g- 3000, okay? People are saying, girl, Sabrina, this is just getting disgusting. Every single day, they just keep giving her backlash. And I just cannot stand to see how y'all give women so much hate for the whole freaky thing. Now, granted, if that was Sabrina's entire brand, I could see the backlash, right? But Sabrina is more than just a freaky girl. Like, she has actual art and actual music music that's actually good. And she doesn't have any, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why people act like it's bad to have freaky references in your songs. I mean, it is what it is, okay? And plus, she's, she's, she's at her own concert that she is doing her own thing at. In her own world, her own, like, space, Okay? I mean, come on now. These, like, strict parents, on, on, like, these days, they're annoying because, like, girl, just turn off their phone, off your, your kid's phone. Limit their screen time. Monitor their phones. Monitor their iPads, okay? I don't know what you want us to do. Like, what do you want us to do? Is Sabrina going to stop? Am, are we going to help Sabrina stop that? No, we can't. So, I mean, uh, it is what it is. And um, society needs to really, like, stop acting like sex is so foreign. There are over 7 billion people on the planet right now. That means sex had to happen at least 7 billion times in this current, like, you know, lifespan or whatever time frame of, you know, humans being alive right now. That means that, like, 7 billion times somebody had to do the do. So sex can't be that rare. And mind you, it probably is more than 7 billion times because it, you don't just, every time you do it, you don't get pregnant. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't. So, you know, it just, it is what it is. And like, you know, okay, educate your child. Okay, hey, hey, boo, this is what happens when you get older. Da, 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 da. Give them the talk and move on. Like, y'all act like it's some, like, demonic stuff. I can't stand it. But anyway, y'all, comment down below. What is your opinion? Let's chat. Let's have a conversation. I would love to get into it, okay? But yeah, that's all I have for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment. All right, y'all, be safe.